Hello, welcome. Try this out. Give it a shot and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so a laboratory technician studied the population growth of a colony of bacteria. He recorded the number of bacteria every other day as shown in the table below. All right, so we got this table here and we want to match it to an equation. And notice in each of these equations you see the number 25. So the first thing we're going to try and do is figure out, okay, does that help us understand what's happening here? Because what I notice is that uh, it... I'm going to use this on the calculator. If you take 15,625 and you divide it by 25, uh, what do you get? Well, you get 625. And I'm thinking, does that relate to 25? Yes, that equals 25 squared. So that tells me to go up two days, right? We've multiplied by 25 two times. And here, if you do the calculations again, you go up another two days and you multiply by 25 two times. So then we can infer, if we kind of, let's say we wanted to see what, what else happens in between, if we went up once, instead of multiplying by 25 twice, I'll go back to the beginning, we multiply by 25 once. So our table will be this for the first three values. 0, 25, 1, 25 times 25 is 625, and then 15,625. So we're multiplying by 25s here. Now, which of these equations actually would give us these results? Now, you don't need the table I gave. You could test this out in the original table. But the only one that, that works for me is choice two, when f of t is 25 right, to the t plus 1 power. So how do I test this? Well, if I look at my table up here, let's plug in these x's, 0, 1, and 2. If this equation is correct, I should get 25, 625, and then 15,625. And I do. f of 0. If we plug in 0, we get 25 to the 0 plus 1, and that's 25 to the first, which is 25. So 0 gets to 25. It's working. f of 1 would equal 25 to the 1 plus 1, or 25 squared, which is 625. It works again, and then you can keep testing it. It will work for all of them. I also encourage you to try the other equations. None of them will match up. So in summary, you can test out each example. If you're not given an example, you can plug these values into your calculator and hit uh, onto, under your stat button and then do exponential regression by hitting stat calc and then choice zero and it will actually give you, um, it'll give you a helpful equation, it'll get you started that way. You can also eliminate choices three and four. Those are linear, right? We're multiplying by groups of 25. Uh, but that, that only applies if your slope it has a constant sum, like you're adding 25 for every one. But here we're repeatedly multiplying, and that gives away that it's got to be one of these exponential functions. All right, hope this helps.